Hello, my name's Andrew Cunningham. I'd like to talk to you about hypnotherapy uh, for your fear of going on the train. Um, now, I say going on a train, it could be fear of going on a bus, uh, it could be fear of going uh, on a tube train or on the underground. Um, really, uh, these fears are, are, are pretty similar. Uh, you might feel that uh, something terrible is going to happen, uh, you might feel that uh, you're going to be sick or have a panic attack or you feel you can't cope or you might faint or, or just sort of something might happen uh, which is going to be very, very difficult so you avoid going on these things and of course uh, the avoidance of these things then uh, often sort of builds the fear. So the first thing we really do is just look at the, look at the pattern, look at the way you're thinking. We're not necessarily going to delve deep psychological issues, we're not necessarily going to talk about the past too much, we're just going to see about the way you get yourself into a fear, the way you get yourself into a panic. And then with hypnotherapy, which is really just using the imagination and using relaxation, it's just encouraging you gently just to have new thoughts, new ideas, in a sense building up a, a, an I can. So often we get ruled by that, well, I can't do that, uh, I can't go there, I, you know, you know, this is definitely going to happen, well, that might happen and I just can't bear the idea of, or thought of it. It's really building your confidence that you can go on these things, that you can control the workings of your mind and body. Um, that there is a possibility, obviously, if you go on a very, very hot train or whatever, that some of them might faint, but it's realising that, of course, that's not really the end of the world. People, sometimes people do faint and then they get up later and it's sort of not a big deal. So it's really just kind of working through the fears, the worries of what you think might happen or what that kind of means. People have, often get very self-conscious and they think that um, uh, it's just that claustrophobic feeling. They're in that situation and they think, well, how, I can't get out of this thing. So the hip therapy really is just teaching you to, to be calm, teaching you to be, to be relaxed and really to, to create new thoughts because it's the thinking that something might happen or is definitely going to happen or could happen, which is, a, is the, again, is this sort of self-fulfilling prophecy. So uh, this kind of work it is, is very possible to alleviate these things, to, to give you back a sense of control so that you start to go further and further, more and more on these buses, trains, etc. Uh, and of course that builds your confidence uh, and then you get this sort of snowball effect where you, you really start to regain a sense of yourself. Uh, so if you've got any questions about hypnotherapy, or the techniques, etc. By all means, give me a call, drop me an email, and uh, you're very, very welcome.